In this video, I will show you how to mine OpenStreetMap data. Now, before you jump up to grab your chisel and hammer, I want to tell you a story. The year was 2004 and Steve Coast was really frustrated with the way the mapping industry was headed in the United Kingdom. You had the government sitting on top of large amount of data and they didn't want to share with the public. And also you had private map vendors and they didn't want to make the data public. You know, they wanted to make money, which totally made sense. But the problem and the frustration arose where when they didn't want anybody to extend the data or to customize it. Now, that was really frustrating for Steve and he wanted to uh, bring about a solution. And around that time, Wikipedia was thriving and it was amassing a lot of content and users. And he wanted to replicate the same crowd-based model for map data. At the end of the year, he actually founded OSM, OpenStreetMap Data, and uh, today it has actually made history and there are like so many users who use OSM and just provide attribution. Today, you are going to learn how to mine OpenStreetMap data. Now, there are various ways to mine it, but today we're going to look at a web-based mining tool known as Overpass Turbo. Let's get started. First, we need to understand OpenStreetMap's data model. It all starts with three primitives, node, way, and relation. Node indicates a point of interest, a way connects to nodes. A relation represents a collection of nodes and ways. And the most important thing is the tags. Now, tags are metadata describing a node, way, or relation. Now, also remember, this is all crowd data so all of us the public uh, you know which is us you and I we go in there we can volunteer to tag all these features with relevant information so today we are going to use the tags to extract information which we want and we are going to overlay it on a map all right let's go check out the available tags which uh, OpenStreetMap provides us so if you go to this wiki page uh, wiki.openstreetmap slash wiki slash map underscore features you will be presented with a large list of uh, physical features which are essentially tagged uh, you know components now if you go down you will see a lot of information aerial way cable car aerial way chair lift mixed lift drag lift um, so while we scroll down, I will tell you my curiosity. So I've always been intrigued by a question, how many prisons are there in the United States? So maybe we can leverage the tagging feature to extract information, extract the number of prisons or list of prisons and we can overlay it on a map. All right, so maybe we can search for prison. All right, there we go. So we have amenity equals to prison. So let's head to our over, Overpass Turbo, the uh, web-based data mining tool, and we can um, write, a, write a query to extract information from OpenStreetMap data. So if you go to Open Overpass Turbo, uh, as you can see, I've already extracted the information because it actually takes quite some time for the uh, web-based tool to process our request and to uh, you know give us back a response. So. Uh, the first thing which you would want to do to extract amenity equals to prison is to go to visit. This is the easiest way to do it. Um, you just go in there and type amenity equals to prison in USA if you wanted to restrict it. If you don't want to restrict it, you can just leave in USA out and it would still process. But I'm telling you, it is going to time out. So if it times out, there is a neat trick to uh, 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 take a work around. Right, so you can come down to timeout and increase the timeout. By that, you will just end up waiting for the data, but surely you will be presented with data. Now, once you get the data on your right hand side, they are using one of their uh, map platforms and they're overlaying a lot of uh, icons on top of that. What we are interested in is the data. So if you go down to data, this is the information which we are interested in. So we go ahead and click on share and 
oh sorry not share hmm. save no not save export and download a copy of GeoJSON so once we have a copy of GeoJSON we will uh, pass it as a source to our Mapbox GLJS and uh, the Mapbox GLJS library will do all the hard work to overlay those icons on top of a map. All right, now that we have uh, downloaded the GeoJSON, which is a list of prisons in the US, let's go back to the implementation. All right, let's go down and uh, like uh, you've already seen, the way to instantiate a new Mapbox GL map is by calling new mapbox gl dot map and passing it options right here you can notice that i've uh, picked up the light style the base style and uh, a load on load we will be uh, you know intimidated uh, intimated by mapbox gl.js so we basically have a callback function and once we know that the map is loaded and good to go we go ahead and uh, get our downloaded GeoJSON and we create a layer with ID presence and type symbol and we uh, set the data in the source. And that's about it. With that, we will be presented with this beautiful map and there we go. So it displays the uh, list of prisons in the United States. Now, a visual is not complete without interactions so I went ahead and added click events so if you actually uh, you know clicked on a uh, prison it will give more information about you know where it's located and uh, which county it belongs to all right well looking at it you really do not know where the density of the prisons are the east coast or west coast so it looks like it's a uh, uh, it's a great place for us to leverage uh, the heat map feature which Mapbox GLJS provides us. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it was actually simple for me to, uh, you know, create the heat map because the documentation in Mapbox GLJS is amazing. Uh, you just go in there, read up on what it takes to, uh, you know, use the feature and, uh, you know, in no time you'll be pumping out amazing visuals. So. The first thing for, for the heat map, uh, you know, you have to have a layer. Well, obviously the first thing is to have a source and then have a view layer. For the view layer, you specify what type it is and then you provide the, uh, the heat map weight, intensity and color and radius, opacity and that's it. By providing these required uh, options, you will be presented with this beautiful heat map. Now clearly, this heat map tells us that there are a lot of prisons on the East Coast. All right, so that's really impressive. So that's about it, guys. Uh, that's all it takes to, uh, you know, mine for mine any desired information from OpenStreetMap data. And this is an amazing tool, OpenOp has Turbo. You can go in there, look up map features from this wiki, and you can extract information from this web-based tool and in no time you will be creating a immersive uh, a map experience with Mapbox WebGL. Well, obviously you can use any uh, map library out there, but uh, this combination is really amazing. All right, so that uh, brings us to a conclusion of this video. In the next video, I will talk about augmented reality. Until then, you take care and stay safe.